Hey everyone, in the last video we checked out the Off-Grid Tools fire making kit. And so here I've got another kit from Off-Grid Tools. This is their 127 piece fishing and hunting kit. And we're going to check it out right now on Kitbashed Survival. So I picked up this Off-Grid Tools fishing and hunting kit for about $30 on the Off-Grid Tools website. And they've got a listing of all the stuff in the kit. I'm not going to read it because it's pretty long and we'll go over it as I pull it out of the bag. Down here it says, proudly packed in the USA with domestic and imported components by Stanford Outdoor Supply. And then it's got their website, offgridtools.com. And just like on the fire kit, they've got a clear back to give you an idea of what's in here, although you can't quite see everything. All right, let's crack it open and see what we've got. All right, so first up we've got this bag of swivels, hooks, weights, and jig heads. So I'll open that up in just a minute. Let's see what else we've got. You know what, I'm just gonna pour this out and we'll go through it. Okay, so first up we've got some rather boring zip ties, but hey, you know, you might need it in a fishing or hunting situation. Always good to have. There's a whole bunch of uses for those things. Then we've got a couple of floaters. Not bad. Then we've got a multi-tool. Something like this is going to come in real handy in a fishing or hunting situation. Really good that they included this. Now I'm sure it's not as hefty or dependable as a Leatherman, but it'll get the job done. So we got the pliers, wire cutters, crimpers, got a Phillips head screwdriver there. Boy, this thing's really tight. There's the knife blade, which is not very sharp because I pulled it out like that and it didn't cut me. <laughs> but it could be sharpened. And I think there's a razor blade elsewhere in this kit, so it doesn't exactly have to be the sharpest knife in the world. Then we've got a flathead screwdriver. And then we've got a nail cleaner and nail file. But I think these tools, you know, are gonna be pretty secondary to the, the main pliers there. So yeah, not bad at all. And if you wanted a more reliable tool, you could probably replace this with a Leatherman Micra or a Squirt or a PS or something like that. It'd be about the same size and probably be a little more reliable long-term, but I think this is gonna be just fine. Up next, we've got some grub lures and they've got, looks like five without a tail and five with a tail, not bad. Then we've got a stringer, a six foot stringer to be exact. Well, if you catch some fish, you're gonna to wanna to string them up. So there you go. Then we've got 100 yards of eight pound test line. Not bad. Then we've got 20 feet of 50 pound test line. Then we've got five salmon eggs. Always good bait to have. Then we've got this bag that we already saw. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and we'll check out the contents. Lots of stuff in here. Okay, so here's 25 weights. It's a pretty good supply. I like that. Then we've got 20 swivels. Again, a very generous supply. Then we've got our hook and jig head bag. So there are four jig heads and 30 hooks. And I'm sure the hooks are of varying sizes. I'm not going to pull them all out, but you can kind of see. It's a good assortment. Then we've got this. This is 15 feet of bank line. Pretty cool. 
And this, of course, is for bank line fishing from the shore. Now, I've never done bank line fishing before, so I'm not the expert in it, but if you wanted to do some bank line fishing, this is where you'd start. Pretty cool. And if you don't know what bank line fishing is, just Google it. One of these days I'll have to try bank line fishing when I'm camping next to a lake or something like that. Then we've got this. This is really cool. This is a yo-yo reel. I think it's so cool that they included one of these in the kit. So a yo-yo reel is basically a way to have automatic fishing where you can have this thing fishing for you while you're doing something else. So the way it works is that you tie it onto a branch that's hanging over the water and then here's your swivel and you put your bait on there and then you pull it out like that however long you need to pull it out and you stop it like that so let's say I've pulled out all this line and I put this in the water I'll probably put a floater on it too and then you hang it from the tree and it has that lock on it right there and what that does is as soon as the fish pulls on it it reels the fish in pretty cool so once again you pull it out and when you've got it to the right length you lock it down like that with that little tab and then again fish comes along and grabs the lure and it reels him in <laughs> these are really cool and it's a great way to multitask while you're in a fishing or hunting survival situation this thing does the fishing for you while you're off fishing with a pole or maybe doing some hunting or setting up a snare trap or something like that very cool these are really cheap you can get a six pack of these on amazon for 20 bucks and it's a great thing to have in any survival kit as far as fishing gear goes really cool now we get to this bag and we've got a bunch of goodies in here so let's go ahead and open it up okay so first up, we've got a straight edge razor. Always good to have. Then we've got two L screws. I imagine among other things, you could probably use the L screws to hang up the yo-yo reel. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six I screws. So little I screws like that. And of course, the intended purpose of these is to make a rudimentary fishing pole. So you get yourself a nice flexible stick of some sort and you screw these along the length of it and you've got yourself a makeshift fishing pole. And again, you can multitask with this kit. So you could make a fishing pole with this and be fishing on your own in one area and then have this thing fishing for you in another area. And then we've got five safety pins. There they are. Always good to have those too. Now we get into some of the hunting stuff. So here we have some snare line and this is really pretty good quality snare wire. It's not cheap snare wire at all. It's got a good thickness to it, good strength. So you could probably catch something of decent size with this snare wire. It's really not bad at all. Then we've got <laughs> a slingshot at least part of a slingshot so we've got the the bands and the place where you load the ammo and i'm not a professional slingshot user so forgive me if i'm using the wrong terminology but you know what i mean so basically what you would do is find yourself a good y-shaped stick and attach these to the stick and then you've got your slingshot and, of course, if you're going to use a slingshot, you're going to need some ammo. So they give you six of these ball bearing slingshot pellets. Pretty cool. And then finally, we've got the instructions that come with the kit. And based on the fire kit, I'm sure these are pretty darn good instructions. So they've got hunting, how to set up a snare trap, making a slingshot, and then skinning small game. And then they've got all the fishing instructions here. So they've got where to fish, bait, yo-yo reel, setting a trot line, making a fishing pole, and then various fishing knots. 
All right, so here's all the gear laid out from the Off-Grid Tools Fishing and Hunting Kit. And just like with their fire kit that I reviewed a few days ago, I think this is a great kit. Now, obviously it's not the world's best fishing and hunting gear kit, but it's not meant to be. For its price and its size, however, you're getting a nice selection of decent gear that could come in really handy in a pinch. And I would have no reservations about taking this kit out into the field along with other survival gear. And that sort of segues into a point that I wanna reinforce, which is that this is not a survival kit. All this kit does is give you the ability to catch some food and maybe do a little bit of processing. It doesn't even give you a way to cook the food. So you definitely don't want to find yourself in the middle of nowhere with only this kit on you. This kit is going to shine when it's used in concert with other survival gear, either in a larger survival kit or something like a bug out bag or a get home bag or something like that. Now, because I think this kit is pretty good as is, I'm really not going to add very much to it at all. Although you could certainly add more fishing or hunting gear to the kit if you wanted to, if you could get those items to fit in the bag. But as for me, I am only going to add two more items to this kit before I repack it. One is a Dermasafe razor knife, just to make any gutting or skinning jobs a little bit easier, or just general cutting jobs. And then secondly, I'm going to add a couple of band-aids. And that's only for me personally, because whenever I get around fish hooks, I tend to gouge myself at some point. All right, so let's go ahead and repack the kit. So there you have it, the Off-Grid Tools 127 piece fishing and hunting kit. I think this is an excellent kit. I really can't find anything bad to say about it at all. And I think the $30 price tag is fair. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. For now, that's it. I'm Eric Siegel. This is Kitbashed Survival. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.